Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we're going to be switching gears a little bit and we're going to be playing a new game called Call of the Sea. Now I've been watching this game since it came out last year because it is a story driven puzzle adventure set on an island. I'm sold. But also it features the voice of Sissy Jones, our good friend. She is mega talented and mega, mega nice. She is best known as the voice from Firewatch. She's also the voice of Joyce Price in Life is Strange. We love those games. The other major voice actor in this is Yuri Lowenthal, who we know as the voice of Peter Parker in the Spider-Man games and has also been in every, well, actually both of them have pretty much done voices on every video game since the dawn of time. So I've been really excited about it. I've been following it since then and they just celebrated their one year anniversary since the launch last week. They released a collector's edition and they had the game go on sale last week and uh, you know that Steam winter sale is coming up. So you might wanna put this game on your wish list. just saying. Uh, I'm really excited to check it out and, and see how it is. I hope you are too. So take a second before we begin to hit the like button as I thank Raw Fury for sponsoring today's video. I am so, so excited to check this game out. Like I said, I have just been looking for a reason to play it, so I'm really excited to work with you on this. All right, friends, let's get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy. No. those voices. Prologue, a family heirloom. And we are underwater? Okay, not what I was expecting to start, but sure. We're swimming, okay. Off we go then. Where am I? I have the same question, but especially I have that question if you have that question. If you don't know where you are, I'm a little bit more concerned than I maybe would have been. I know this place. I've been here before. There's a door. Underwater, for some reason. Okay, and we... Apparently have some sort of breathing apparatus. I hope. <clears throat> I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. Well, honestly, that's bad news. If you've been here your whole life. But sort of, I am curious about this chess set. I mean... A single move has been played. That's kind of interesting. I mean, you know me, I like to take in every single these little stairs. detail. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. Any pictures in the picture frames? No, not quite. A floating chair. Okay, what have we here? My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a We're minute. We're on a boat! Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. So, a little right. bit of exposition I'm there to start friends. the game. We are the main character who has some sort of illness. 
strange illness that seems to maybe affect her skin. And so, oh, Tahiti calendar. Ooh, Merveille de Mer du Sud. I don't know what that means. Marvel of the sea and sun? No, <clears throat> don't know, no idea. Okay, a diary. 1934! So we have our setting here. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. And now we know who we are. Nora Everhart, art teacher. Curious things from my journey. Nora, remember this. Everhart, okay, so the Everhart home. Good. Down and up to change section. Left and right to change page. Oh, here we go. Okay. November 1st, 1934. I've finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough row to hoe. I think I must have walked all over Papite asking, a pa is it Papite or Papite? I don't know. Papite seems more right. I don't know. <clears throat> I must have walked all over Papite asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place 74 miles east of Tahiti. Some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they think the place is cursed. Ooh, set in the scene, set in the vibes. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hodgson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th, 1934. <clears throat> After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Mrs. Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think there's a sweet, tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. Look at her, Nora Everhart, adventuring with these hardy sailors. I like it. Okay, so maybe... Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, there were old pages. Shall we start from the beginning then? July 6th, 1934. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in the Postal Service. July 14th, 1934. Last night I had another of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before a mist-shrouded mountain. I woke up drenched in sweat. <clears throat> September 16th. I keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry, and it's been three months already. Damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing. Oh, husband. Okay. So we know who Harry is now. My husband is missing, and I can barely walk for a couple minutes without getting exhausted. October 10th. An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday, postmarked Tahiti. No sender. I would be upset if I received that package, if I'm being real. Find him, 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite. After leaving through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaheite was just the ancient name of Tahiti, the same place the package came from. What does all this mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. <laughs> Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. What a good wife. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison building, I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmel. Tahiti again. So she's clearly got a mystery to solve. I love this like 1930s, you know, kind of noir time frame we've got going on. Um, and, and she's already discovered a number of pieces of the puzzle. <clears throat> the puzzle has already started, and that's what I love about a good story, is usually in a good story, you start in the middle. And I definitely feel like that's happened here. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. 
First, I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy, or cheap either. I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. Oof. If you like the ocean, maybe don't move to Denver, Colorado. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. Okay, so then that, that's caught us up. So that's all of our notes, or that's all of our log. So if we set that down, we have to After the south. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Okay, we're learning about the culture. I like I like that quite a bit. I like it. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. <laughs> So I was close when I guessed Marvel at the ocean or so. I don't remember even what I guessed, but I was kind of close though. Marvels du Mer du Sud. of the Southern Seas. Sud, yes, Southern the Seas, South. I okay, think. okay, okay, okay. I was close. I didn't take 10 years of French for nothing. Oh, I'd better okay. cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Um, but your arms are exposed, but okay, we won't talk about that. Oh, we can turn the radio on! Fun! I <laughs> love this song. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. I received a mysterious package at my... Okay. Here's... Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. I don't think we should be locking things with combinations if we can't remember our combinations. Now, she's like, I always write a journal to write things down, but we read through the journal and maybe 506? Nora, remember this. Let's, let, oh, I keep pressing escape. Let's go with 506 then. Oh, I gotta say, that's very satisfying. The little clicky noises and the, yeah, that's great. That's good stuff. Very satisfying. Open sesame. Yay. Yeah, All right, it now it's open. Great. And what do we have inside? Harry Everhart. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. So, <clears throat> this is odd, right? We have a picture of her husband loading a pistol, staring into the camera, very unusual for the 1930s, with the note, find him, scrawled. Very strange. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. Yeah. Very odd. Very odd. I guess we're a taking these things with us. And sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I guess we're taking that with us too. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Okay, and we have a drawing of our dreams. Good. One might even call it the drawing of our dreams. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Well then, good and right. Then I'll just be on my way to the door. Then, well, first I'm going to open this. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. I'm not going to open that. I'm just going to look at it and comment on it. Anything else? Do I need to take my backpack? My sack of dough? I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Okay, so this is our ticket. Great. Okay. Anything else? I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. She really likes the ocean, huh? It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. I guess that's her bath. The 1930s were kind of wild, eh? Like, what is this hutch, though? This hatch, though? Okay. A mystery for another time. Out okay, we go. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. T 
title sequence. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. They I really... I'll see you in three days, then. Just dropping her off? 74 miles on east island. on a cursed island? You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Uh... Slightly questionable. Cursed well, Island, here, here we are. I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. It is familiar. so pretty, though. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. Very interesting. I've got the chills. Look how pretty it is. Oh, it just makes me want to go to an island. I've never been to Tahiti, but I've always wanted to go. And I go to Hawaii from time to time. But uh, that's not Tahiti. But it is a very pretty island. A breathtaking, idyllic island surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Who put the stakes there? And why There's is a good question. Something strange about this place. Yeah, I think something strange is a little bit of an understatement, Nora. Is that the sound of our boat? Powering down? This isn't a power boat, it's a dinghy. It's the 1930s. There is a okay, motor on this boat. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. Shows what I know about the 1930s. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I guess we have a mission then, find somewhere to camp. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. I mean, it is. It makes me think of Moana. Away, away. That's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. With their what? Like, like, do they, like, snort into it? Like, with their, like, blow with their nose into the flute? I have never seen such a thing, and I must immediately look it up online. What? What did she call it? Well, that's a vivo. A flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. A vivo. I won't be playing that. I'm literally so curious. Okay, I just looked it up on my phone. That is literally exactly what it is. They hold the flute end up to their nostril. This looks like single nostril. And then they blow into it with their nose to play the different sounds. That is wild. That's wild. I've never seen that in my life before. I'm, you learn something new every day. I'm amazed. I never would have thought of that. It's just so interesting how, like, everything you could, like, even your imagination sometimes is limited by the culture that you were raised in. Isn't that fascinating? A note written in French. I only understand two words, il and mort. 
island, and death. Well, you remembered Marvels of the Southern Seas. Ugh, now I gotta try and read this French. Ah, uh, qui conque lira se mot, nu avons profane set il pour ni trouve que la mort. N'allez pas plus loin. <sighs> this is really hard. There's like verb conjugations and stuff. Something, I think nous avons is we go, we're going. Uh, profane, I, profare, I, I don't know what that means. Set is this. Il is I'll, pour is for. I don't know what an apostrophe Y is. Trouvé is to find. Uh, que la mort of, of the death. <laughs> find of the death does not make any sense. Uh, is that if if that's lira, li, leave livre is book li, lira. Maybe that's a verb conjugation. I do not know. Forgot a lot of French in my times. So if we don't know what it means, we're just gonna move on and say it's it a must mystery. Be a about the dangers of the island. Warning about the dangers of the island with a stabby machete seems about right. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. And yet it's completely stabbed into, I assume, this palm tree stub. So is it really that dull? I have a question. I have that concern. I oh, pretty! Quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Interesting, Nora. You're here, you feel good when you have this mysterious illness, and when your husband first went missing, you were feeling kind of woozy all the time. Might you be connected to this island in some way? Hmm. You might be. It looks like it opens from the other side. Then I guess I won't be trying to open it from this side. I guess I'll just be admiring all the gorgeous flora and fauna. Like that hibiscus we passed earlier. Look at all these little tiny island wildflowers. Very pretty. Various grasses and ferns. It's not a brief playthrough until I comment on the plants. Let's be real. There's definitely some kind of uh, uh, artistic structure going on here. Definitely some man-made things. Let's go up this little staircase. Ooh, a little, little fish traps. A bone fish hook. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good. We got, we got some, uh, some lobster traps, some fish traps, good stuff. Good stuff, yep. All the necessary These things you need. These called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Uh. Oh, this guy. Unu. Okay. This guy, I mean, if you really just try to interpret the face, kind of looks like he's like, watch out! So, like, wet floor! I don't know. That's just kind of the vibes I'm getting. I don't really know. I'm not Polynesian, so... <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> just a goofball. Mm -hmm. This is a rock with some leaves around it, some palm fronds. Um, so, okay, good stuff. Oh, there's some more. Peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. I'm sorry, Nora. I don't look at this and I'm like, very peaceful. I, I just don't. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, a lever. Hopefully this isn't the wrong level. Oh, that did something. Did something indeed. Let's see if this one does something else. Hmm. Something's missing here. Well, we need a lid for our lever box, I guess. Uh, so off we go, looking for a lid. This box. CW. 
Those are the initials on the brass key. Well then, let's yeah, go ahead and put that it. key so in there. Whoever sent me this key was here. All right, one piece of the mystery unraveled, or would you say unlocked? Okay, so you're telling me how to get in this door because there's our lid. It's underneath, or it's in a in a, in a hole. Okay. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt, a carving tool. Well, um, all right. So, it's gotta go look for this, uh, here lid thing. Ah, here we go. This is what the drawing looked like, and there it is. We're just gonna open that guy up and take the lid. Well, look what's hidden here. A lid! It's not even really a gear, so I don't really know why it's so important to it working, but... Who knows? It's all part of the mystery. And it should work now. And it does work now. Grand. It works. Moving on. Look at these pretty, gorgeous tropical leaves. So bright and vibrant and colorful. Man, tropical leaves this are the best. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Oh man, if you've never trespassed, Nora, now is clearly not the time to be starting that. This is a very mysterious island. Ooh! This, to me, looks like Plumeria. Very pretty. With the leaves and the flowers. Gorgeous. Or though, I think... Uh, they're Plumeria, but they're also known as Frangipiani in some parts of the world, or something like that. It's got two names. All right, we got another little station of stuff here. Lady Shannon, that name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. I don't need to look it up because I already remember that Harry is the one who contracted de passage, the Lady Shannon. To Papete! Pepeet! Papete! <laughs> Six people, fragile instruments, several boxes, weapons, and explosives! Supplies for Sweeks! Just kidding. Eight weeks. H. Everhart! So, that's a very important document. Is there they are. Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Did that say December? I believe that said December. June. <laughs> it said June. I just saw this big swirl and I thought it was a D. It's a J. June 24th. Okay, so this was very early on from when Nora was aware that he was missing. Because remember, we had notes in her, er, her journal went from July 6th to all the way to November. So this says, okay, so here we can read our, our journal here. I arrived on the mysterious island 74 miles east of Tahiti. The fishermen will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you, dear old pal. Such an old timey like phrase, dear old pal. We just don't use that word anymore. That's strange. Polynesians don't use doors, much less mechanisms to protect a door. If I want to reach the inner island, I've got to open it, Nora dear. This is no ordinary island. I needed the key I received in the mysterious package to enter the island. What does it mean? Harry was on this island, and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely recognized some of them from the letters he sent me, but where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? I have to assume they did, because I feel like we're seeing remnants of their camp literally everywhere we go. Look, there's a tin of corn. Is that what that is? And some wine rum i don't know I, I watched pirates of the caribbean why is the rum always gone 
Ooh, what do we have here? Another Unu or something this else? This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and oh, I no. saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Okay. That looks like a puzzle that we don't yet know how to solve. So we're going to walk away and deal with you later. That is my beautiful original song. Yeah, my single's coming out, like, you know, next year with that. Um, oh, so it's been peek years for you all. since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I gotta say, Nora, long walks are the key. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Ooh, a mangrove swamp. Have you all seen that crazy video about how mangroves basically obliterate tidal waves? It's so cool. Like, the reason why coasts are so maintained with mangrove forests is because of their root system. Not even water can maintain its momentum through them. It's great. It's like a natural filter. That looks like a keep out sort of situation, but we're going to touch it. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Okay. I'm going to have to actually consult the journal to figure out what that indicates. I found the missing piece to open the door. It opened the entrance to a mangrove swamp in the inner island. I'm cut off from the heart of the island by a strange mechanical bridge over a river. Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you don't necessarily always find your journal entry notes in order. That's good to know. So, for the life of me, I don't really quite know what to make of that yet. So we'll just kind of remember it and come back. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. Man, isn't I, that just I the truth? I have to do it with you, old pal. Oh, the emotion in that line. Okay. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Parrots. Uh, lorikeets. Lorikeets. Cold lorikeets. These birds are really loud. I'll tell you that much. Okay, now these all have different kinds of symbols in them. We've got a little conch shell, an infinity symbol, a little angry man, um, some triangles, play buttons. We'll call that a rewind button. We've got the ocean waves. We've got ethereum. We've got more ocean waves, some lore. But you're different. You've act oh, you're actually a bird home perch. Why can't I click on you? There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this inu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Okay. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet hey. feathers. What a lovely souvenir. Well, it's not a souvenir if you put it back. The souvenirs are for taking. You know what? Whatever. All right, we've got... Oh, some arrows. So that's a fast forward button. So we've got a rewind button and a fast forward. Oh, so this is the door that opens from the other side. Okay, we're figuring it out. We're nailing it. We're good at this. A shortcut. Island that's adventure. Convenient. A shortcut is convenient indeed. Some more hibiscus. Peek through there. Just the ocean. Walking around. Can we get up there? No. Anything of interest around here? Very pretty little tide pool, but other than that, but that's just another ocean wave. And that's like the Eye of Sauron. Okay, we've got lots of different symbols here, but what does it mean? Gonna have to find out. We're gonna have to just keep playing to find out. It's all part of the mystery, I assume. Okay, so this one... This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique? 
that is fascinating. People are so smart. A bone fish hook. Yes, we've already seen one of you. So okay, so this symbol is like one of their boats. What did she call it? A va'a, a vara, something like that. So it's like one of their canoe out. Oh look, fish! I guess it is a good fishing technique. <laughs> so we'll call this boat symbol. Great. So I think that's all there is in this little mangrove swamp here. Oh, here's another one. This one is... What a beautiful mountainous landscape. What are these for? Am I completely missing something? I wonder if I was supposed to remember what order I saw them in. Because there was that region where there were just all of them in a row. Right, so here we have our crown. Our fast forward button, our sun crown, our boat, and our upside down strongman, we got waves, we got a rewind button. So. The order we saw them in was triangle crown. Definitely saw boat and well, what was that circly one? We saw so many symbols. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to the, the drawing board, board here. Page. That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. What happens if we go this way? Okay, so this is back to the mangrove forest. So this is a circle. Well, it's a circle that we looked through, but it also has the kind of like crown situation here. So what is the ticket to knowing which ones trigger the bridge? This one has four tines at the top, just like the first one we saw. Which was over here. So this one created a little shape on the ground with some... See, this has this symbol of the kind of angry man arms multiple times. This has four tines and a little triangle crown. So since this also has four tines, it's not an order thing. Hmm. This sure is a puzzle, isn't it? Let's go back to our our lorikeet paradise and let's see if we can't figure out what we're supposed to be doing here okay we see two tines two tines four tines of a different shape that's not the symbol we care about this is the five tines three tines four tines ethereum that's lorikeet business That's our fast forward button. Infinity. Maybe our journal will help us out. Oh, our journal did help us out. Look at that. But That only gives us four, and I'm pretty sure our bridge had more than four. One, two, three, four. Oops. So maybe we needed to take our shortcut back.
Maybe we missed one along here. Did I go in here? What is this little cave thing? Ooh, it's kind of creeping me out. It's a little dark in here. Oh, look at this! Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Interesting. So now we look at our journal, we have five. Now there might be one more, but let's see. If I remember correctly, I think there were six spots on the bridge device, but I can't be sure. All right, did we go up this ramp? We did talk about this guy, but I think we talked about this guy down over here. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd it's never lie to man. each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. That is very important for relationships. Honesty at all costs. Not cruel honesty. Kind, compassionate honesty. But pure honesty at all costs is very, very important for all good relationships. Nora! Oh gosh, that. What? Is, yeah. Someone carved my name in the back of this Unu. I didn't even notice that. It's like, pay attention! This is for you! Alright, well. Good thing we already investigated that fully. So let's go back to our bridge mechanism here and see if we can at least... Oh, there are only five. Okay, good. So let's consult our journal. It's mountains, sun, boat, ocean, bird. Mountains, sun, boat, ocean, bird. Mountains, sun, boat, ocean, bird. Mountains, sun, boat, Ocean bird. bird. Mountain, sun, boat, ocean, fast forward button. Mountain, sun, boat, ocean. Is there a different ocean symbol? No. So. We don't like the order of that. Okay, so I just got really stuck and then I came to the back of this higher, what's it called? Pillar, higher, it's a pillar. Okay, and maybe we're supposed to be doing it in the order listed here. So sun, birds, mountains, ocean, boat. Because that's the natural order of things. So let's try that. We have sun, birds, mountains, ocean, 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 ocean. There we go and boat. Fingers crossed. Well, hey, we part. did it. We figured it out. Good job, That's us. my ticket across the river then. That's the ticket. Across the river we go. Look at that waterfall. So pretty. Tropical places have waterfalls like nowhere else has waterfalls. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, I'm creeped out. Look at our Nora just adventuring. This totally gives me up vibes, for sure. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Ooh, chapter two, the Everheart Expedition. Wow, what is this place? It looks like some sort of village. I 
Better have a look around this abandoned mm. village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. This is looking mighty important. What do we have here? Everheart Expedition. Everheart Expedition. They set up camp here. They must have. Let's see what we can figure out now that we're here. Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. Well, what well? He doesn't want me to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of that well? So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave one of these amulets to each of us. Only Harry kept his. There's some superstition going on for sure. Did Harry sleep in this hammock? Is it Harry's hammock? Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. Yeah, that looks like an argument for sure. A forbidden ritual? He's warning us about those ruins. He says that some sort of forbidden ritual took place here. Fascinating. These ancient geometric stone structures are not Polynesian. What purpose did they serve? I also wondered that because I felt like that didn't quite match the aesthetic. A sea turtle shell. Actually, that is mighty curved. And I'm getting tortoise vibes from that, honestly. Sea turtle shells are less, I don't know if the right word is concave, but they're just, they have less curvature, whereas tortoise shells very much have that sort of curvature. But I don't know if tortoises are native to the Polynesian Islands. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago, I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. But it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that Whiteson beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Mm. Why did you agree to return to the island then? I need to know what happened to me to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Well, that answers at least one of our questions. It's pronounced papete. It sort of seemed like he kind of emphasized the second E in there. Pape, papiete but really blended it very well. So it was kind of like papete. And that's just very hard for me to pronounce. But we can say papite. 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 Well, that was our best effort. Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Generally, yes. Generally, from what I have heard, carved wood indicates guardianship. What do we have here? Largely undisturbed paperwork. I've never cared much for games of chance. Well, this is a very confusing dice. It's like a card, but it's dice. Why don't you just play cards then? This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. July 14th. I came to this godforsaken island for just a few days and it's been almost two weeks already of doing nothing. Is this rich jerk going to open that hatch anytime soon? I'm not going to wait for Mr. Know-It-All again like I did with the elevator. He'd better let me handle this situation. We brought 
dynamite for a reason. Ugh. That's what he's like. All right, and he, on every expedition, this is how it goes. There's one person who just exclusively wants to blow everything up. Remember Atlantis? Boom. There's always one. Knowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Yeah, that sounds dumb to me as well, but what do I Looks know? like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. Oh, wow, my goodness. Drew comics of him and everything. That looks potentially like the pistol Harry was holding in that picture. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Uh, well... I don't know. There are apparently very large tortoises on this island. Am I supposed to know what this is or what it does? It just sort of looks like a fancy mirror. Great. Who worries this much about Ooh. their appearance in a place like this? Brilliantine! Books. Boots? Bo boots? Tools? Drools? I, I don't know. Nice comb. Is it? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know men's hygiene stuff. This could be... That's razors. So for face shaving, I guess this is like a... Beard brush? <laughs> I don't know. I know how combs work, but I don't know what brilliantine boots is. <laughs> no idea. Moving on. It shows what I know about men's fashion. Aha! Winchester is definitely missing. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Or did the guns take them? Never thought of that, did you, Nora? See, this is why I'm the player. Very neat. Yeah, it's very nicely folded. Oh, who's that? She looks nice. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. To Roy, the best stunt man in Hollywood. I don't know, is that how they talk in the 1930s? Oh, this one is not... Okay. <laughs> Looks like this. Yeah, I feel real... like these are all different people, and you should be in trouble, sir. His real name was Costas. Costas, from Los Angeles, the best stunt man in Hollywood. Okay, so then this is Costas Apostolou. Very Greek name. Okay. Well, lots of guns and a. Uh, beard brush in that cabin. Did we check this cabin yet? I feel like we did. Yeah, this was tortoise shell heaven. Okay, yeah, we, we did that. All right, so we checked all the cabins. Now we have a few different paths. Oh, let's, there's, let's go this way. Cause there's another little hut over here and I definitely want to check oh, that out. Damn it, someone on the expedition died. Oh no, that's a tombstone right in front of me. Oh no. Roy, wait. That's who we were just in the cabin of. Oh. Roy. Did you blow yourself up with dynamite? A farewell message from a friend. I guess we will have to finish our game in the afterlife. Rest in peace, Pally. Oh. Well, Kostas. Your grave didn't even have your correct name on it. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. Mm. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Mm. Yeah, see, it kind of seems like he was kind of not a nice guy Did anyway. Did use all the dynamite? Oh, there was definitely some dynamite being used Explosives. here. Explosives. Looks dangerous. Okay, well, when you play with fire, Costas, Sometimes you just, you, you just get burnt. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. They used the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. I'll 
keep that in my notes for future puzzle solving, I bet. He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the medical tent up on the flat outcrop. We should check that out. After what happened, underline, I'd better find out more about the well circled. Dr. DeWitt. All right, great. So, another hint of where we should check out to help I solve the mystery. Since my mother's burial. Shortly oh, after she sad, died, Nora. my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. We thought it was nothing at first. They started appearing after she died? Interesting. Is your family cursed, Nora? Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? Well, if a hammock is too close to everyone else, then it's not good for relaxing. So I just solved that problem right then and there. Look at this little fella. Hello, little fella. These are the amulets that Tattoo's man told everybody to wear, and Harry was the only one who kept his. So I'm going to guess Harry's the only one left alive. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents balance and protection. Hmm. You sure do know a lot from that book you read on the boat trip, Nora. Yeah, this is looking mighty cursed for sure. Mm -hmm. There's the some magic cuts going through that on canyon. here. It doesn't look safe to cross. No, it looks very stabby and like you would die probably. So we're just going to go the other direction. We are trying to keep Nora alive. It is kind of important to me. We like her. Look at these waterfalls. Simply gorgeous. What do we have here? Another bridge. Good, good. Ah, oh, so pretty. Look at this. Don't you just want to go to an island? All right, here's the doctor's oh, tent. I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. I don't know if I would call it that. Oh, a butterfly! Hello. So pretty. Hmm. Spinach, maybe? Spinach and peas. Nasty. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Black? Icor dash ooze. So they found some stuff clearly that they don't really know what it is or what it does. Always a good idea to mess with black ooze that you don't know what it is or what it does. In fact, like, it's like the number one advice that we should be giving young people today is if you don't know what it is and what it does and it's black ooze, you should specifically on purpose mess with it. That's how superheroes are made. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Well, when you're solving a puzzle, my friends, always start with the corners. Mm-hmm. You got yourself an edge over here. This is some kind of middle piece. Got some kind of an edge over here as well. You look like you might match up. Yeah, you loosely look like what you match up. Yeah, yeah, mm hmm Always start with the corners. Always pays out. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm Doing pretty well so far. Not quite sure on that one yet. Hello. Yep. That looks like that kind of goes. Yep, that definitely goes. And then there. Nope, nope. There. You go then there. And then you go then there. We did it! <laughs> Family symbols? They seem to represent sea creatures. Well, yes. 
The order of the symbols is important. What is the connection with each tiki? Sea turtle, shark, manta ray, octopus, or squid. And the head shape is kind of questionable. So it could be either. Although with the legs, I'm thinking probably octopus. Oh, should I rotate it? No, nothing on the back. Good. Solved it. Man, I love a good puzzle. Oh, hello. It's being ripped out of something else. Okay. The order is important. What was the order? Did I write it down? I did. Okay, good. Oh, we got another little protection tiki there. Good, good, good. All right, what else we got? The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. Interesting. Well, let's refer to our journal. We have our little eyeballs that look like kind of butterflies. We've got these three kind of crown-like things. We've got a definitely angry face with a little tiny mustache. And we got these like kind of, you know, hangy down arms. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we got hangy down arms. We got a mustache face, angry mustache face. And we got eyes that kind of look like a butterfly. And we got three, yeah. Yep, nailed it. I couldn't tell you why we did that, but it just kind of seemed important that we did that. Okay, we already looked at all that. What do we have here? Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. Remains from old civilization related to disease? I suppose it could be. Click on that. Object here? Interesting. Ancient mechanism? Does More the drawings. platform go up? Could be. Mr. Everhart. seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. Mr. Everhart, I still don't understand what happened. Roy knew just as well as you and me that the black ooze was highly volatile. I should never have believed him when he said he had your permission. It won't happen again. Frank. Okay, so... Roy, a.k.a. Costas, wanted to just blow everything up and was like, Black ooze? I'm not afraid of no black ooze. And then went and did something that got him killed. Frank was probably like, what are you doing? That's crazy. Don't do that with black ooze. And Roy was like, ah, no, Mr. Everhart said it was fine. And Frank was like, well, all right. If Mr. Everhart said so, then that's good. And then Frank feels bad and, like, Frank got Roy killed. Poor Frank. I kind of don't feel bad for Roy, though. This seems like this was Harry's chambers specifically, and... Hello? What mess did you get into, Harry? Mr. Everhart, we deeply regret your refusal to accept our funding for your expedition. We have always had an excellent relationship with your family, and we really considered this venture a unique and profitable opportunity for both parties. We wish you the best of luck on your journey. You surely are going to need it. Caleb Bowen, the Starry Wisdom Society. Providence, Rhode Island. Okay, so, interesting. Oh, there is an option to do that. I was hoping that there was, I just didn't see it. All right, so Harry turned down funding for this expedition. expedition. And all just for little old me. But why? What did they want in return? The Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. This is so frustrating. I know I'm close, but I can't find the right combination. This looks like he's studying some molecular formula of black ooze. Black ooze? In a telescope? Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know why we'd put it in a telescope. Other planes of existence. That's bats. Ooh, I love that phrase. That's just bats. Um, <laughs> Tillinghast's spectacles lens aligner, an unsurpassed technological device from every point of view. After a specific alignment, this device concentrates the resonance wave spectrum in an optical impression. None of that makes any sense, just for the record. 
Observing the lens will affect the subject's pineal gland, allowing them to gaze into other planes of reality outside the spectrum we consider our dimension. Now, here's the thing. The pineal gland is real, I believe. So, isn't it just so, like, manipulative? to put little tiny tidbits of real things into complete nonsense to make you believe it. This is why it's so easy for the internet to trick people. Because you're like, ah, oh, yeah, one of the things in there you mentioned is real. <laughs> I have to assume the rest is. And that's not how that works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Special features, yeah. Okay. What do we have here? Ah, the lens alert. Where did you get this strange device, Harry? Where did you get this strange device indeed? Oh my, oh my. Well, the meter adjusted when I did that, so... <laughs> I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. We're just making it up as we go along. I don't know. We're, the meter is doing things, though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, right there. Looks good. Uh, uh, okay. What about we want one right there? Look, our meter's all the way up. But why, though? <laughs> I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with uh, it. Yeah, okay, um, let's keep investing, let's, let's look around a little bit. My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets, so many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Oh. Well, that's it. I'm in love with these characters. That was easy. Nailed it. Good job. I am ready to cry. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Jeepers! I can't believe we're saying the word jeepers. That's great. Okay. Tell the others to pack up as fast as they can. We have to get to the black sand beach. Something's happened to the ship. Bring only what... Bring only what's indispensable. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with that either. Let's go back down here. Okay, that's the same one that we observed. What about one of these? Yeah, okay, let's look at you. Tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm starting to get the full picture. That's the octopus attached to that Tiki. Then this first one with the mustache and the angry arms would have been turtle. This one is manta ray. They're composed of four pieces. So we just need to go and find the shark, which would be here. What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Uh-huh. It's all coming together, folks. 
The order is important, they said. All right, here we go. So turtle is mountain forehead, then shark eyes, which is mountainous eyebrows, stabby eyebrows. Then we need manta ray, which is manta ray mouth is kind of like tongue out. Oh! A secret compartment! We did it! We solved the puzzle! So satisfying to solve a puzzle in a game like this. Even if it takes me a little bit longer than the average cat. Okay, what do we have here? The stone what slab! Kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. Oh, and there's definitely some black ooze attached to it. Disturbing. Yeah, but we are going to take it with us. Because we're just going to screw around with some black ooze. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? Hmm. Hmm. I don't see it. This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, the oh, there's something hidden behind here. We'll be fine. Wow, really old photo. The island is wearing a lot of tribal ornaments, but none of them seem Polynesian. Interesting. Okay. Well, then I think we've looked at all we need to look at, and we can leave. <gasps> oh. Got ourselves a stone slab, so let's see if we can put it in the slot and see where that gets us. We have to know what it does. I'm sure this is a great idea. How, how is that possible? What fascinating technology. Okay. Right, so what did that get us? Now this, I thought, might act like an elevator to take me up, but uh, it did not. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh, it did though. Oh my. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. I mean, it was expected, and then it was unexpected. Oh, my oh no. What happened here? I'm gonna guess they exploded it, and they regretted that decision. Hmm, the puzzles continue. The mystery continues. But that is actually where we're going to end today's playthrough. This game is so fun. The puzzles are just difficult enough, but not too difficult for me to get frustrating. And I fell in love with the characters. I kind of was afraid that I was going to because, you know, the voice acting, but, and then it happened and, ugh. I just really want to know what happens to these characters. I really hope Harry's still alive and that Nora gets to find him, but I don't really know and I'm just so, oh, I just want her to be happy, old pal. I want to be happy with her old pal. I don't, well, anyways, um, I'm already emotional, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of this game. Are you looking forward to seeing more of it? Please let me know. Thank you once again to Raw Fury for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you are interested in seeing more Call of the Sea, learning more about Call of the Sea, you can check it out on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can click the link there and um, you can see the collector's edition. And there's this really cool video that Raw Fury did with the voice actors, Sissy Jones and Yuri Lowenthal. And um, that's definitely worth checking out as well and that's on the steam page so um i'm loving it please let me know what you think in the comments and that's all for today's video so please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too and of course please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for strange rebel gaming so you don't miss the next video that's all i love you all